Hello Lilith, <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. I am here with baby Phoebe and Phoebe as you guys know is the Willow Awake um, kit by Claire Teller and painted by myself and so I want to get her changed. I of course you know when I am sending a baby home sometime I have things here already that's new in the closet for for that reason so that I can you know get the babies um be able to send them off in their little new stuff and but sometime I might not like certain things on them or something like that or maybe it's not the right size so I have to go out and buy um other things um sometime I usually lately with the pandemic I've been ordering stuff and um but I actually went out and went to see what I could find for my last baby that went home my little Alex and I actually found um a few things <laughs> and it, it's it's crazy because I always end up getting more than what I was supposed to get so um I ended up getting um her well not her yes her and um some future babies <laughs> a few things and future babies that's going home that'll be going home to new mommies i got a few things you know and you guys know i'm addicted to the blankets so of course i had to buy some more blankets they didn't really have that many in marshall's like they usually do because that's where i normally go and get my blankets but they didn't have a big selection I was kind of a little disappointed because I was looking forward to you know getting multiple ones so that I don't have to go back out anytime soon but I really just just didn't find um, a lot so anyway I did I did get me at least one more um, for the next bait well no, that would have to be for one of the girls. But yeah, for the next girl, which will be the Ashby, that should be the next one that go home. Well, out of the girls, I have a boy, which is Finn. He should be next, and then Ashby. Um, but yeah, I I get so caught up on shopping. Then I bought this one outfit. I don't know if Maggie's gonna be able to fit or not, but it's pretty big, and then. Of course, now that I have a grandbaby, that throws a whole nother mix. And I'm like, ah, oh, let me see if they got it in her size. So I end up, she ended up getting some stuff. Not much, just I think two, two outfits. And I'm like, well, I'll tell you what. I am going to pick these things up and, oh, you got a little string of hair right there. How do you get hair on you? tummy girl <laughs> um so i got her this little outfit just so fyi um and i thought it was really cute i don't know if you guys can see it but it has um lemons on it and it's sleeveless but it's long so i said well we're good giggly googly this is one of those blankets. Oh my God, that's gonna drive me insane. I did not realize that this was one of those blankets, guys. You know, some blankets, the fuzzies cling to these babies. And then, maybe it was the other side I should have used up. I don't know, but it's gonna drive me insane, but we I'm gonna try to bear through it without keep picking the fuzzies off of her. Um, I found some different pacifiers online, so I've been, you know, doing a little bit of shopping because, like I said, I'm expecting finally my sleeping girl, and I'm excited about that. And I'm still on the fence, I go back and forth. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to keep my fin, but I may or may not. But right now I'm just so in love with 
the fin all over again because I'm painting it. So we'll see. Um, but I will be painting a, an AA fin um, after this one. So possibly will be available. Um, but I will see. I will see. Um, it looks like, um, from looking at, uh, Claire's video, she had a sleeping kit that she's going to come out with, but, um, I already found my my sleeping girl so yeah but um so I guess we'll see a video wait for a video for that I also oh I told you guys I tried to get the uh the sleeping partial <laughs> from uh Joanna K but I, I didn't make it I didn't make the cut I was right on time but apparently everybody else was too and so um yeah, so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get that one. <laughs> I was like, dang it, maybe next time. So, we'll see. But, yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling good about so far where I'm at with my orders. Because, you know, I told a lot of people that I wouldn't even be able to start taking their orders until this month. So, I I think I'm still on schedule, um, but um, I think the, that I've decided not to stop to root will definitely help me. So this yellow is not a, these lemons are not a bright yellow, they're not like these. It's more like a orangey yellow. So. We're not going to, um, oh, that fits you so nice. That's a zero to three month. Um, so that's not going to work. And I didn't get her the proper socks. These, she shouldn't be wearing ruffles with this. So, oh wait, here's some socks here. Let's see. <laughs> we going to put you on these. <laughs> I just want her to have on socks. So I'm going to put her on these socks. Yeah, we do. I see your little toe over here. I see your little toey. Just making sure her toe not being awkward in the sock. Because she likes to wiggle her toes. But yeah, so... I'm excited to see how these babies going to turn out. I'm, I'm, I'm really loving the fin right now. Um, I just haven't reached the actual skin tone that I, where I, I can say, okay, that's it. So, um, still working, still working, still working. So, but he's moving along pretty, pretty good at a good pace, but I've, I've been working on him quite a bit, um, in between work and stuff. So, but I, I, his mommy said, you know, take your time. <laughs> And, you know, the customers always say, take your time. But I am a collector, too. And I know time, take your time don't mean take 20 years with my baby. So, I, I work, you know, every moment that I can. Because I guess part of it is I'm, I'm just as anxious to see the dog on baby as the mommies because I you know I never know how they're gonna turn out in the end so I get excited when I'm painting them it's like oh 
okay, one more. We need to do another layer of this and another layer of that. And then <laughs> before you know it, I just, I'm like, I can't stop. Like, I'm just addicted to it. Look at you and your old messy hair. Let me see. What you, what you, what you looking like? I should get you a pacifier. I should have, but I didn't. You guys don't get to see her with a pacifier that often. Let me see if I have a pacifier right here that I could give her to you guys. All right, I got a pacifier. Now I just need some. KY, guys, please make sure you use um, the KY. It's really... Um, good for trying to keep you from messing up your baby's mouth um, sometimes the rubbing from the pacifiers I even find that um, this this is actually the best thing um, even better than powder and also guys just another little quick tidbit um, when you put stuff on your babies I, you know, I wouldn't put like any type of powders or anything on your baby unless they need it. And then even if they do, make sure you're not using stuff with other additives in it like vitamin E, aloe, um, and make sure, you know, because sometimes you get these little cheap powders, baby powder. It's not worth it messing up your baby. Um, I know that they... People use um, matting powder to powder their babies for a silky smooth feel. Um, I have not used it for that purpose um, as of yet, but a lot of people swear by it. So I am almost inclined to say do that than actual powder. So... Um, but yeah, don't, don't do, and when you're bathing your babies, don't use stuff. Just, it's not really, you're not really supposed to be actually bathing them. You're really just rinsing them off. So just rinse them off with water is my recommendation. Um, just to get the fuzzies off of them and any, you know, maybe dust or anything like that. Lints, you know, stuff off of them. Not, and don't wash them with a washcloth like type thing um my my I I try to test my babies out before they go and I do actually wash them before they go home because when I finish with the mat I do actually wash my baby so I know that the pain is cured properly and stuff like that but still you just don't want to do that um you know you don't want to do that Sometimes you could take off the mat even when you don't take off the paint. And so I just recommend you do as less possible with that type stuff. But enjoy your baby to the fullest. Um, it's how I feel. But oh, she looks so sweet. Oh, she just looked like she just powdery fresh. Got your boop boop. So that is my little pukanook. And I just wanted to share her with you guys. And um, soon, um, Sasha will be back home, and you guys will get to see her. So I'm excited about that. And um, again, like I said, I've just I'm just waiting on some things. To be honest, right now I'm working on some things in the background, and I'm waiting on a little bit more things to be ready for to reveal. So. I'm, I'm I'm holding off on my nursery tour for those reasons. So, um, because I want I want to have my other um like, there's little pieces of like baby furniture I want to add into the nursery, and I want to you know um, have my kits here that I'm gonna paint so I can add them to the tour as well, even though they're not painted. So. <laughs> I know it's weird, but that's what I want to do. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching her. 
Don't forget, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, share with your friends, and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and give me a like, a thumbs up. Bye!